Now, students, in today's lecture, we are going to study a drug that is ecothiophate. So, ecothiophate is basically an indirectly acting cholinergic agonist. That is, it is an irreversible anticholinesterase agent. So, going into detail of the drug, that is ecothiophate. Now, ecothiophate is basically an organophosphate. This is a synthetic organophosphate. This is a drug that contains a phosphate group. And this phosphate group is basically responsible for making the covalent bond to the enzyme that is acetylcholine esterase. Thus, in this way, this drug has ability to block the drug acetyl, uh, the enzyme acetylcholine esterase. As a result, there will be increased level of neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine. So, this ecothiophate or these organophosphates are actually very toxic. They were used in the military as nerve agents for interfering or interrupting the transmission between the nerves. So, the related compounds such as parathione and the melathione, these are two agents which are used as insecticides as well. Now, coming towards the detail of ecothiophate, which is basically an Organophosphate. So, here in the figure in the right side, I have a structure of ecothiophate. This ecothiophate is basically an organophosphate agent. This is the agent that contains a phosphate group. So, this ecothiophate is an, eco, an organophosphate that will covalently bind itself to the active site of the enzyme that is acetylcholine esterase. This ecothiophate will basically bind itself to the enzymic site of the enzyme, thus blocking the enzyme. Now, this drug is in attached, this is the drug and this is the enzyme. My, this drug will attach itself with its phosphate group to this enzymic site of the enzyme. Now, I have this complex. So, once there is a complex, if my this complex is going towards the aging, now, after aging, I will say my this complex is now a permanent complex. My this complex is a complex through which I cannot detach my ecothiophate. After aging, I will be unable to detach this ecothiophate. So, before aging, before aging, it is the possibility or detachment of this ecothiophate. But after aging, it's impossible for me to detach this drug from the enzyme. So, once this occurs, once the enzyme is attached to the drug, once this enzyme is with the drug, and before aging, it is possible to detach these two agents, but after aging, it is impossible for me to detach these agents. So, this is the phosphate group which is present on the drug ecothiophate, and this will make a connection with this acetylcholine esterase enzyme. So, what happens in aging? We know that this ecothiophate contains an ethyl group, that is an alkyl group. Whenever there is release of this alkyl group as represented in the figure, in the presence of water, there is release of this alkyl group and there is attachment of this hydroxyl group at this side. So after the release of ethyl group, I will say that my enzyme drug complex has undergone the process that is aging. Now, aging makes it impossible for the chemical reactivators like pralidoxine to break the bond, to break this bond and detach the ecothiophate from the enzyme. Now, what are the actions of ecothiophate? Ecothiophate is basically a drug that can stimulate the cholinergic effects. These effects are breathing difficulties, convulsions, meiosis, and falling in trochlear pressure. So, effect of the drug can be overcome by using an anticholinergic agent, that is atropine. Now, what are the therapeutic uses of the drug? A topical solution of the drug might be used for open-ended treatment, but this is really, very rarely used. This is not present because of the risk of testing the cataract. So, cataract is the possible adverse effect of the drug. 
so this was all about that the modo section this was all about the pharmacology of ecothiophate this was all about the therapeutic uses and the adverse effect related to ecothiophate